Hey guys, so I have a very exciting video for you guys. This is my Sephora VIB haul and my Bath and Body Works haul. I did make a, I think it was a $30 off $50 order on Bath and Body Works online and then I also had 20% off at the Sephora VIB sale which was this past weekend and I made VIB Rouge. I'm so excited. This is my first time making VIB Rouge so I'm going to show you guys the welcome kit and the things that pushed me over that edge to make VIB Rouge this year. But first I'm going to start off with Bath and Body Works. So what I picked up, I picked up these really cute socks. These are their Snow What Fun Shea Infused Lounge Socks. They are super soft and just really cute. And they do have aloe in it to keep your feet nice and soft. I picked this up just to kind of push me up to get to that $30 off. So I got a set of hand sanitizers. Bath & Body Works had a lot of different sets for the holidays. And the ones I picked up are Winter Candy Apple. See if you can see that. So that's winter candy apple. And this is a like a pretty much red candy apple. Very strong. I also got the pocket back and twisted peppermint. And this one oh, smells so sweet like peppermint. Love it. I've got a body wash before of that as well. Then this is a new scent they have. It's called Jingle All the Way. And the packaging of these is just adorable. Love them. And this one smells so good. I'll give you the scent description of that later. And you'll find out why. And then my two favorite is Vanilla Be Noel, which you guys have all probably heard about. It's a nice vanilla scent. As well as Merry Cookie, which was my favorite from last year. And I love the little penguins. So I caught the dot, but the main reason why I went is to get body washes. So as I mentioned, I did get Jingle All The Way in the hand sanitizer and I also got it in the body wash. It is Iced Clementine Sparkling Snowflakes, North Pole v Vanilla, and Holiday Poppies with Blue Spruce. This smells so good and super excited to have it. I also picked up a Snow Kiss Sugar, which looks like that. And this is Spun Sugar, Chilled Coconut, Vanilla Orchid, Snow, Kiss, Snow Kissed Plum, and White Winter Musk. And the packaging of this, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like glittery and super cute. The next one, of course, I picked up a Vanilla Bean Noel. That's what the packaging looks like this year. Really cute. And then the last one for me, I got Be Joyful, which looks like that. And this is Sparkling Clementine, Golden Mango, Frosted Jasmine, Winter Melon, and Shimmering Sugar. I love my sugar bakery scents as well as fruit, so those were just like the best ones for me to pick up. And then I also picked up two men's, which are my husband's staples. Whenever I ask him which kind of scent he wants from Bath & Body Works, he says, the blue kinds. So this first one he is a repurchase. This is the White Water Rush and it looks like that. So this is fresh white water aromatic bergamot and white cedar. He really likes that one. As well as this ocean. This is a two-in-one hair and body wash. He has only used it I think for body wash not for hair but it smells pretty good. It is Fresh Cypress, Vitiver, and Cool Ocean Air. So we like that one as well. So what you guys are all probably dying to know is what I got at my Sephora haul. So I'm going to get to my big box up and share with you guys what I got. So let me get all these like receipts and stuff out of the way. So they did send me, at first, they gave me a big booklet kind of thing of the, what they were kind of selling for the, the winter holidays and stuff. And it came with a bunch of samples 
of their perfumes. So I do have those and that was what was just at the top. I did claim a 500 point perk. This is the Basha Pour Purifying Black Magic. And this is for like pore concerns. I have been finding that I have more pores right along like my cheekbone. The, in this set you get the Detoxifying Black Cleanser, the Pore Purifying Black Strips, the Luminizing Black Mask, which I have been loving lately, and the Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. So that is the set. Again, it's a 500 point perk. And I'm going to open this up. So it looks like that. Super cute. Nice little box for 500 point perk. And it says, Beauty Addiction Has Its Privileges. This exclusive set was curated just for beauty insiders like you. Enjoy this 500 point fix. You've earned it. So again, this is the Detoxifying Black Cleanser. The Black Mask, which I have a sample that's about this size. So I'm really excited to have another sample before I buy a full size of that. The Black Hydration Gel. And you get, I think this is just one of their black strips. So that is something really fun I am excited to try. The next thing I got was a little small size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is alcohol free, silicone free, and it's oil free. Has a 24 month expiration date. And it says, let's see direction. It's infused with electrolytes to prime by misting to create our sheerest canvas for makeup, hydrate skin for hours, revitalize complexion. So basically what you do is you hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from your face and mist. You can use it as a primer before a makeup application as a setting spray to lock on your look or as a refresher to wake up your makeup. So let me get this out. In the little cap right here, it says tip, keep it cool, for an extra refreshing, ultra cooling mist storing fridge. So that's pretty interesting, but this is what the little bottle looks like. Show you guys. So, and like that it has a spray, so this is what I'm going to be testing out and using compared to my Urban Decay, um, whatever, the makeup setting spray. So I'm excited to try that against it. I also picked up a body scrub. This is from La Vanilla. This is the all natural vanilla bean 100% healthy creamy body scrub. This is in the scent crushed Van Madagascar vanilla beans gently revealing glowing radiant skin. So this is what the body scrub looks like. And see what it smells like. I've only looked and opened at these things. I haven't like totally gone into it or anything. Ooh, it smells nice. So this is what the scrub looks like. It looks like it has not a lot of like a little exfoliating cocoa beans in there. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to actually test it out tonight. So I'm pretty excited to see how it goes. It smells really good. It's not like a super fake scent. I wonder what ingredients are in here. It says no harsh chemicals. Now, I have heard a lot of good things about La Vanilla. I will have to do a little more research but um, it does look like it has a lot of natural ingredients in the ingredient list and it's not tested on animals which is awesome. So that's the ingredient list if you want to pause and see what exactly is in this body scrub, but I'm excited to try this out. So the next thing is a gift. This is the Philosophy Renewed Hope Trial Kit. You get the Purity Face Wash, the Renewed Hope in a Jar Eye Cream, and the Renewed Hope in a Jar Moisturizer. This is a nice little set. Uh, we purchased this for my mother-in-law last year and I'm excited to give her another little set like this to play with again. 
The next thing I got is one of the big things I got. This is the Anastasia Self-Made Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks like this. This was in my Sephora wish list that I will post down below for y'all just going to store and wanting some tips. But this is what the palette looks like. Super pretty. It has like a I can't remember what this is called, but like cars have it. It's very sleek. You take this little thingy out. But these are the shades that you get. So I am so excited to have this. Not like I needed another palette, but I'm just really excited. So I'm going to try and swatch some of these. So I'm swatching Isle. Let's see, I want to see this deep purple. And let's see, Spirit Rock looks really pretty. So those are the three. They're very pigmented. And I just touched it a little bit. So those are the three swatched right there. I don't know if you can see Isle that much in the lighting, but those are very pigmented. I am so excited to try these and just keep using them. Like, they're beautiful. So excited to have this. And again, this was about $35. So really great deal to try an expensive eyeshadow brand eyeshadow palette. And you also get a little brush in here. If I can get it out. So this is the two brushes. It looks like you get a fluffy, like a blending brush. Ooh, it feels pretty good. And then another kind of brush to pat on some eyeshadow. And Anastasia, I think, is cruelty-free for all you cruelty-free people out there. So that is really exciting. One, probably the most exciting thing that I got. Well, that I think I got. But, I mean, I got a lot of good stuff in here. And it's not over. Just have to wipe away my hands so don't get all over everything. Because I've made that mistake before. So, the next thing I got was the Butter London. These are scrubbers. So, that's what it looks like. These are 2-in-1 prep and remover wipes. These are basically wipes to take off your nail polish and get them ready for painting. So I heard some good reviews about this and I wanted to try it out myself and get more into painting my nails. As you can see, I have a lot of nail polish and need to start working on them. I also, speaking of nail polish, got this little set. This is the um, Formula X, the system to go. This is the party edition. They had a bunch of different kinds. And this comes with a nail cleanser, a base coat, a red sparkly nail polish, and then a top coat. So that's what that looks like. So I'm excited to try a couple of Formula X's, like base coats and top coats out. One thing that I did not order but Sephora threw in here and I'm really happy to get is the Glam Glow Stay Sexy. This is the clearing set. This is what it looks like. I think they just mistakenly put it in here because they also like threw a random L'Occitane ornament tag which I have seen a bunch of YouTubers who had the ornament and I didn't order the ornament or this Glam Glow but it came in my box and I'm going to say okay I will take it. So this comes with the Super Cleanse Daily Clearing Cleanser and the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. So when you open it up like a book, those are the two products that it comes with. I have not tried these two before, but I have heard good things about it, and I'm excited to try it out for free because that's awesome. The next thing, I wanted to get a little small Z palette of just like some of my favorite eyeshadows that after I use up a palette or use up that I can start filling this up. I don't want too many eyeshadows or anything like that. So this is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger in my opinion. But this, we'll see how it goes because right now I don't have anything I'm going to put in there. So we'll see how it goes with the whole deep panning thing. If y'all have any videos 
you recommend for how to depot eyeshadows, let me know down below because I really do want to just have a little Z palette full of things. So this is the Z palette and it looks like I probably put about nine shadows in there. So I'm excited to have something like this to play with and try and depot some shades. And it's nice to have this small size. I think this was about $10 or $8 after the sale. Nothing too expensive or big. The next thing I got was a Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. This gently exfoliates and conditions. So it looks like this. It says massage a small amount onto lips, rinse with a damp washcloth. Can be used two to three times a week. So I have never had a lip scrub before or tested one out. So I really wanted to get this one I have heard good things about and see how it goes, especially in the winter time. So this is the little pot it comes in. Let's see if it has a scent. Ooh, it's pretty strong. I don't know what it smells like. It does smell like sugar, but it has like a cocoa. I can't put my thumb on it, but this is what it looks like. So we'll see. I'm excited to see how like these lip polishes and things really work out and if this is worth the money. I will report back. Um, the next thing I picked up was this small size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So it looks like that. I did recently, um, right now I'm using up my YSL foundation primer that I got from an influencer box. I'll link that video down below, but I wanted to try another Smashbox kind. I really have liked their photo finish primer, but this is for pore minimizing. So I wanted to see if there was a legit a difference with between the two. So I picked that up during the sale. I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, which looks like this. This is the packaging. It looks like a sweet tart roll. It looks really like I could eat it. Let's see how you open this. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the product, nice and shiny. This is the clear brow gel. And it looks like a ni pretty nice, decent brush for your eyebrows. It has a perfumey scent to it, honestly. Ooh, a very perfumey scent. But I'm excited to see what all the hullabaloo about that is. And then I think that's about it that I purchased. I do have. A couple other things. Again, I said I made Sephora VIB Rouge. I'm pretty excited for that. And with this, it gives you like a welcome card and you also get a small Marc Jacobs Beauty Lipstick in the signature VIB color, I think. No, it's called So Rouge. And this nail, I mean this lipstick is so cute. Like, look how adorable it is. But it's so tiny. That's the lipstick it looks like. Let's see, it's swatched. That is the color. Really, actually, a wearable color. So I'm really excited to have VIB Rouge. I haven't had that before, like I said. So pretty excited about that. Let's see, what else do I got in this magical box? I got a sample of the Mark. Jacob's Daisy Dream Perfume. Also got a sample of a Makeup Artist Best Friend. This is the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. Just a little sample. I got another Basha product. This is the Purifying Cleansing Gel. Looks like that. I got another take off the day cleanser, a Tarte sample of the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Got a sample of the Tata Harper Re Resurfacing Mask, which I'm really excited to try this one out. 
and then two last samples I got the Belief a tr the True Cream Aqua Balm which looks like that and the Bobbi Brown Con Intensive Skin Serum Concealer in Beige so that is all the things I picked up from my Sephora VIB sale officially now VIB Rouge Woo! and Bath and Body Works. Let me know if you guys have tried some of these products and what you guys got during the sale, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.